back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about being ready for a rabbit. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing is money. Do you have enough money for a rabbit? Rabbits themselves aren't very expensive, but you do have to get your rabbit desexed, so that can be quite expensive. So if you don't have enough money to get a rabbit desexed, I would definitely recommend buying from a rescue where then it might be a little bit of an older rabbit and it might already be desexed. But also you're going to have to buy constantly hay, um, toys, litter and at the beginning when you have a rabbit you're going to have to buy a cage, a litter tray, a water bottle. Rabbits can be expensive but the most expensive time when you have a rabbit is definitely at the beginning. The second thing is time. Do you have enough time for a rabbit? You need to be spending quite a lot of time with the rabbit because they are social animals and they like to be with other people. If you can't spend a lot of time with your rabbit, I would recommend getting two rabbits. This will bump up the price of owning rabbits, but at least they won't be lonely. The next thing is space. Do you have enough space for a rabbit? Rabbits take up quite a lot of space because they need a lot of room to run around. Because in the wild they have big open fields and big plains to run and bink and hop and do all that kind of rabbity stuff. But you, you don't want your rabbit to be sad and rabbits generally do have a lot more fun if they have a bigger cage. The fourth thing is allergies. Is anyone in your household allergic to hay or the actual bunny itself? No one in my family is allergic to hay or the actual bunny. But you should always check because hay isn't something you cannot give your rabbit because their teeth, because their teeth are constantly growing, um, they need to have te um, hay to kind of wear them down. This is very important. Vets. Do you have a specialist rabbit vet near you? Now maybe your local cats and dog vet might look, do rabbits, but I would definitely recommend looking into a specialist vet near you. This is important because you don't want your rabbit to need instant care and then getting sicker or even maybe dying because you didn't know where one is and you just took them to the closest cats and dogs vet. Thanks for watching guys and please remember to like, subscribe and comment down below any videos you'd like to see me make in the future. So, as always, bye guys, see you next week. Bye!